build our ladies to the point where they know that I am enough in myself. I don't need validation from someone else. If I know that I'm enough, then I would not stay where I should live. Mm. Okay, I should know how to respect myself. So if I see someone disrespecting me, I know the difference. I know, no, this is not respect. You should respect me. Okay, so uh, I think that is a major factor for me. And most times that's the point from which I teach my clients to move from or move out of abusive relationships. Mm -hmm. It's... Um... It's, it's quite shocking, actually, because what you, you touched on a couple of areas there about how we sexualize um, children. And in fact, I did a post today. My other organization is called Potency World. It's about educating girls. And a major, major part, well, major part of that is about uh, consent, relationship advice, financial advice, about how to look after themselves internally. And this self-worth, this value that Shivani touched on and you've touched on as Nikkei is when you feel uncomfortable, it shouldn't be even a hesitation that you go no no this isn't right don't, don't touch me there um i'm going to be doing a recording next week with a lady about something that's uh spread um from a intimate situation into a, a quite wide ranging abuse i just wanted to give um <clears throat> a quick example mine is in no way uh, as bad but i um nearly got married uh, 15 or so years ago and the lady was and as in the case, you raised this point when she was with me she was very nice but i noticed that everybody else she spoke about she spoke about negatively everybody else she spoke about she spoke about as if they had no value and it's literally that as you say joseph it's that's disregard for any human and it's funny because literally i am the opposite end of that scale so i speak to oh uh, look i might not have money to give to a beggar but i can give them my eye contact i can say hello i can acknowledge their presence that for me is the minimum as a human being so and I think that's the reason that, you know, unfortunately, there is a, an attraction of opposites because people want the bits they don't have themselves. And I suppose, uh, so FIFA, do you, do you mind telling our viewers, because it, it must affect your trust of men your experiences you're muted sorry can you repeat the question I didn't well I, I, I'm, I, I, I'm, I, I want to be careful because I don't want to upset you but your <laughs> okay well your, your experiences I would have thought affect your trust of men it, is that true for you and how how do you deal with that okay um first i couldn't open up to my parents for more than 10 years i didn't tell them because i i saw no need to tell them because you know this kind of um situation the abuse will make you feel like okay if you tell anybody this is going to happen to you you are going to do this you're going to do that you know you live in fear and Basically, you live in a thread for guys, I know. So I, I couldn't tell anybody. I, I, it became a secret. It became my top secret until I met a mentor. I met a mentor. So it was, <laughs> and the funny thing is, the person I, I shared this story to first was was the lady before I shared it to my mentor. So I. I was just, it was, it was, <laughs> it was not an easy experience, actually, you know, having to tell people that you've been abused before, you know, you feeling, 
feeling inferior when people tell your kids is out and you be like, oh, I've been abused before. How how do you feel about it? So I summon courage actually. Courage. And even at that, I didn't tell my parents until recently. But I summoned courage. I told one of my teacher then. Because this happened when I was very young. 